Today, I want to talk to you about what the dangerous do. And I mean dangerous in the sense of those who bring false teaching and corruption among the Christian community. We read about this in Jude chapter 1, verse 4. There is only one chapter to the book of Jude. So it's Jude verse 4 where we read this. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, this was the danger. Certain men have crept in unnoticed. In one sense, this is what made them so dangerous. They crept in unnoticed. No one noticed that they were dangerous. They didn't wear a danger false teacher name tag. They were likely unwittingly inspired by malevolent powers who knew that one devil in the church can do far more damage than a thousand devils outside. As Jude warned of the danger, he did so with confidence. He was confident that the end of these men was already assured. He reminds us that these certain men were marked out for this condemnation. This is the destiny of every false teacher and leader simply because they are ungodly men. They're ungodly simply in the sense that they're not like God. And no matter what their outward appearance is, they disregard God. This shows us that though they were unnoticed by men, they were noticed by God. Friends, The Lord is not wringing his hands in heaven, worrying about those who deceive others through their teaching and through their lifestyles. They may be hidden to some believers, but as far as God is concerned, their condemnation was marked out long ago. Their judgment is assured. The truth will win out. But will you be a part of that victory? The next description of these certain men is especially revealing. Jude says that they are those who turn the grace of our God into lewdness. It means that these certain men have received something of the grace of God, but when they received it, they turned it into an excuse for their lewdness. The idea behind this word lewdness is sin that is practiced without shame, without any sense of conscience or decency. Usually, the word is used in the sense of sensual sins, such as sexual immorality, but it can also be used in the sense of a brazen anti-biblical teaching when the truth is denied and lies are taught without shame. Jude probably had both those ideas in mind there, because the rest of the letter will develop these certain men had both moral problems and doctrinal problems. You see, These words of Jude show us that there is at least a potential danger in preaching grace. There are some who may take the truth of God's grace and turn the grace of our God into lewdness. But this doesn't mean that there's anything wrong or dangerous about the message of God's grace. It doesn't mean that there's something corrupt about grace. It simply shows how corrupt the human heart is. The danger isn't in grace itself. The danger is deep in the human heart. We can take something as wonderful as the grace of God and make it into an excuse for lewdness. Finally, Jude identified these certain men as those who deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. They do this by refusing to recognize who Jesus said he was, and therefore they also denied God the Father also. We are not told specifically how these men denied the only Lord God. It may be that they denied him with their ungodly living. It may be that they denied him with their heretical doctrines. Probably both were true. You see, this reminds us that faithfulness to Jesus Christ is more than a matter of doctrinal purity. It's also connected to how we live. You may have all your doctrinal ducks in order, but if your life blatantly contradicts the truth, you are among those who deny Jesus Christ. 
Today can be the day when you decide to follow Jesus Christ with more than just your ideas and your thinking. You understand that it must follow through with your life also. Now, it won't happen perfectly on this side of eternity, but it must begin now. Can other people see that it has begun in you? Pray that God would grant you that grace and grant it for you today.